y'all good morning welcome and welcome back to my channel do not mind the front of my hair i'm taking my hair down this weekend but i just wanted to give you guys kind of like a life update type of video because i have not been on this channel in a little bit i've just been posting like shorts and things like that since i've been here at bosnia or whatever so that's what we're going to talk about in this video but i want to kind of do like a bunch of random ish before we get into that and it'll probably be later today it's like six in the morning right now because i'm prepping for class and getting ready for that so <laughs> in the morning before i go i'll probably tell you guys a little bit and then when i get back i'll probably tell you a little bit more and then we're gonna wrap this video up okay but if this is your first time ever seeing me my name is aisha this is aisha's life and it is about all things me and my life of being blind and being a plus size of black woman in america okay period so please keep on watching so let's talk about my life and what's been going on i just want to make sure i am in frame y'all let's talk about what's been going on so i have been here at the Boswell training center for the blind for they said eight weeks but when i asked her that girl said seven weeks but i've been here since may 9th and i thought that i would be posting a lot of content on my youtube channel doing days of my life videos like that and you know just vlogging like i was doing when i was at home but that's not how things you know happen um i've been here and i've just been like i've been focused like i have been zoomed in on success and instead of coming back to the room and you know making content for youtube i've been putting a lot of my energy into tiktok so with tiktok <laughs> i have literally gained 10,000 followers over there that was my biggest like my first biggest goal was 10k my next goal probably is like really 20k 20 30k something like that i don't know yet we'll see but i'm just so proud of myself and it's crazy because i was always that person that would just be like oh yeah the, the followers are coming i would really doubt myself on how well i'm putting out content how much content i'm putting out but truth be told people really like my like my videos over there so i have just become a little bit more intentional with the type of content i put out on over there because i want to grow that following and i want to spread you know the word about low vision adults blind adults who are out here doing everything they want to do and more and i feel like that is a good representation of my tiktok like you can literally go to my tiktok and see that through my videos how do i know that because people tell me <laughs> and plus i can see it as well but i'm very intentional with what i post what i share what i like what i do over there because i'm just trying to make that a very positive platform for people to go see and just scroll and just see the positivity see the growth so that's been really really good but outside of that being at this training center has really built my confidence being a blind adult like i knew i needed like a push and a boost in my life but i didn't think that bosman was going to give me that so quickly within the first week i was kicking ass okay i was doing everything i said i wanted to do and some and i even had a couple of blind girl adventures you know and that's so amazing but instead of having blind girl adventures i'm just trying to have this lifestyle on where i feel as free as i want to be i don't want to feel like i am stuck at home and after i'm finished with bosma i want to work i want to get into the field i want to be making money because what i was doing before it, I, i'm not going back to doing it. and i keep telling my boyfriend i keep telling my friends i keep telling my family like once i'm finished with bosma i do not want to go back into that same depressed i'm at home go to sleep home wake up still at home throughout the day i'm still at home like i don't want that and i'm going to do all that i can do to not have that be my reality once i'm back home and up here in the major city there is like a service where the um city bus will come get you but it's not like the city bus it's like a smaller bus will come get you and take you where you need to go you just gotta call and schedule it ahead of time right so i set that up in my city and i now have that transportation it's only gonna cost me like a dollar rather than it's gonna cost me 90 well not 90 nine dollars ten dollars and twelve dollars to get from point a to point b in my city and i'm utilizing the city bus like y'all things that i said i would never do i'm doing and i can only be so much more happy because of it like 
Bosma is not just a place for me to go get, you know, technology training because that was the biggest thing. I needed technology training, especially if I'm trying to do a job online. Um, but Bosma is, is a place literally for you to find out who you are and what you are truly capable of. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So today, actually, I have on this cute little shirt and I have some black pants on. And I'm going to be going to the corporate building today to talk about marketing and discussing, you know, marketing things. Because they, after they had found out that I had so many followers, they were like, oh my God, how did you do that? And I'm like, I just post videos. Like, that's literally all I do. And um, I sat down with one of their marketing guys and he was like, I need to pick your brain. I need to know what you know. And I was teaching him stuff too. He didn't even know about Canva. And y'all know I love me some Canva. But using what i know i'm going to try to get me a job in marketing but if not y'all i'm gonna be working at dang on call center i just need a job and once i'm done here i have asthma i'm going full-fledged on job hunting mode okay that is what i'm doing and i'm i'm okay with working like from home like i'm okay with that decision if that happens but if I can go sit at a call center and like be in my own cubicle, like I would not mind that. But I'm about to finish getting ready for Bosma and then when I come back, I'll tell you guys about the meeting with marketing and all of that good stuff. Plus I need to make this thing on grocery list today. I kind of know what I want, but I don't know what I want. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're about to get into. It's about 7.16, I'm leaving my room a little early because i want to go grab me some a couple orange juice and i want to go up here to the front desk and ask them what are they supposed to do when they clean our rooms what is in that requirement for our weekly cleaning because my room has not been cleaned the proper way since the first week i came here so i'm about to go figure that out because i'm over it i'm frustrated and i'm just trying to be a bitch about it but bitch ain't doing a job you guys, I just had my meeting with Lisa over there at the corporate building. So much good news. We'll talk about it when I get back to the hotel. You know, the meeting was so good. If I lived up here in Indianapolis, I feel like that job would be mine. You know what I'm saying? In communications or something, or maybe even outreach. Um, it was good. So, <sighs> why does my clear with items and I swear my wrist and So, I think when I get back home, to my city, my little town. I'm going to look at jobs in the field that basically she would have hired me for and go from there because I have a mask all day and then taking it off and then talking feels so weird. <laughs> so I honestly feel really good about what I'm doing after doing this program. And she only insured me a little bit even more <laughs> that I can do exactly everything that I want to and plus them so i'm just checking because it doesn't look like my room is really clean today but whatever it, the, the problems with this hotel y'all i cannot wait <laughs> um i've stayed at the jw marriott and this is a marriott hotel but the staff here is a no it's enough like my trash in my bathroom still full so if i have to go up there and ask for more tissue because it doesn't look like i left more tissue <sighs> it's a whole mess but today was really great and i'm very excited to see what my future holds and with today being a full moon and all this good stuff came to me today i feel very good about the rest of this year and everything that i said that i'm going to set out to do so you guys are definitely gonna get like videos of me talking about my workforce and all that stuff and like going into the workforce for well, uh, going into workforce um and trying to find me a job after Bosma. so that's gonna be a whole series within my vlogs y'all already know that but i cannot wait until i get employed now once i get employed somewhere i can't tell y'all where i work that's you know what i'm saying it's just safety but i'm about to edit this video up today's the 28th it's gonna go out on june 28th and uh, yeah. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and i'm so sorry that i've been in my but i've just been doing this program and it takes up a lot of my time 
so yeah just just know that <laughs> but thank you so much for watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe button with that bell press on to all my notifications and like this video for future uploads in the future just like this or maybe even better um because today was just an update that's all this was it was just an update